Hi guys, I hope you're all really well. I've had a little break from vlogging. Um, I've been really poorly for ages with the like never ending cold, which has been awful. Um, sorry, not starting on a very positive note, am I? But um, yeah, I've been gutted to kind of be away from vlogging. Um, I've missed it. Um, so I'm gradually getting back into a little bit of sewing. Well, actually I have been doing a bit of sewing, but I've been feeling really, because I was so poorly and just feeling really run down. I didn't really feel uh, positive enough to be on camera or anything like that. So I've been doing a little bit of pottering around, have made a few things. Um, but I am fresh back off of attending a really incredible event and I really wanted to share some bits with you guys. Um, so yesterday I went to Blogtacular, well actually Friday I went to Blogtacular, today is Sunday when I'm filming. Um, and um, if you've not heard of Blogtacular, it's an annual conference, um, conference sounds really formal, it's way funner than a conference sounds. It's aimed at bloggers, um, mainly like creative bloggers and um, like the creative community, small businesses. Um, so there's just so many amazing people attend, um, you know, bloggers of, I don't know, like obviously sewing or um, crafts, uh, lifestyle, mummy bloggers. Um, but then also makers there, uh, people that are like illustrators and artists and just so many incredible people and it's just such an amazing community to kind of be part of um, so I'm kind of all buzzy off of that and feeling like oh I really want to just share some bits with you guys um, so I filmed some little bits and pieces, snippets throughout the day um, I wish I'd filmed more because uh, I looked at my camera and I was like, I don't actually have that much, but you know when you go to something and you think, oh, I'll get a photo of this or this or this, or um, and then you figure out afterwards that you actually didn't take any photos at all, but usually that's because you've been having busy having like a great time. So that's kind of what's happened, and I kept reminding myself, like, Jen, go and take some photos, Jen, go and take... But then you do have to kind of live in the moment as well a bit as well. So um, yeah, had an amazing time and I've got these snippets of video that I'm just going to sort of montage in somehow. So you can sort of see the kinds of things that were going on there. Um, yeah, it was a conference in London. Um, I went with my buddy, my sewing blogger buddy, um, <coughs> Sarah, who's from Like So Amazing. Um, and I'll link to her channel as well. And there are a bunch of other sewing bloggers there as well. Um, Tilly from Tilly and the Buttons was there, and uh, Emily um, from Self Assembly Required, um, Emma from um, M Makes and Bakes. Um, oh my god, there was just so many amazing people there. I feel like I'm forgetting people, but it was just such a cool day and just such a lovely um, group of people to sort of chat to, and yeah. Um, we talked about all kinds of geeky, nerdy things and sewing, obviously. Um, yeah, so we got there bright and early on Saturday morning, rolled up there and um, got all ticked off the list, got there and um, they had like really amazing uh, food there throughout the whole day. So when we got there, there were sort of snacks and breakfasty pastries and stuff like that so grabbed a coffee obviously <laughs> and a pastry and um, immediately just people just mingling and people that you've never met in your life that will just come up to you and be like hey uh, isn't this thing cool and hey what's your name and hey you know just really really lovely and um, yeah so we had uh, the day had various um, sessions um, so the first session, actually I'll get you my get my programme out. Oh, and the other thing I want to show you is the goodie bag, because Blogtacular goodie bags are, um, what's the word, like, I want to say notorious, but um, like well known for being really good. I can't think of words at the minute, I don't know why. <laughs> I'm back, I just had to edit out a little bit of video because I'd left the programme downstairs. So this is the programme. And um, yeah, so when we got there we were given these and 
um, I've circled all the things I wanted to go to. Yeah, so the first session was an opening keynote by Tiffany Han. I think there's a picture of her in here. And she was amazing and she was really inspiring and um, she was she gave everyone such um, well basically like a really good pep talk um, about our, our blogs and um, just different ways of looking at things and and just being creatively inspired and um, yeah and just kind of turn some thoughts on the head and yeah it's really hard to remember the detail other than feeling just really inspired by her um, I was uh, scrolling down notes throughout in my um, notepad so yeah she was amazing yeah she's a podcast host and business and branding coach so she was just so cool and um, had such a good energy about her and it just felt really buzzy and everyone came out thinking okay right um, you know it's thinking outside the box and having all these just massively just feeling just creatively inspired so she was fantastic and after that I went to it was lunch after that, and the lunch was incredible. Um, I went to the Pinterest session, um, which was really informative. Um, I love Pinterest, but I'm rubbish at using it as a blogger. Um, I think I'm a much better user of it as um, just just a user of it and just a normal user of it and um, like I've got loads of different boards for anything like when we had Otis as like a nursery um, board of images to when we were decorating and when we did the playroom and um, quite often it's like interior stuff um, on, and the garden and all these different things um, lots of people use them for like recipes and like food ideas uh, but yeah there were loads of like tips and tricks because I think I've just scratched the surface of using Pinterest and I could be using it much more so I was again I was like scrolling down loads of notes so I've got loads of notes to look back at and um, when I've got some time I'm going to properly sit down and try and sort out my Pinterest um, so yeah that was really um, just like a really useful session and um, loads of just nuggets of just really useful information um, my favourite session in Oh, actually, no, it's a, it's a close call. One, one of my favourite sessions in the day, um, so the one after this, I went to one called Creating Compelling Insta Stories. So I love Instagram stories, and I, the, I'll be honest, the reason I went to this is because um, Laura Jane Williams was on the bill, and she, she I love her stories. And I when I went to Blogtacular, two years ago I went to her writing session um, and she sort of blew my mind and I just love her she's so oh she's witty she's funny she's buzzy she's I mean, she's an author if you haven't read her books um, google her she's amazing and um, she's just one of those people I feel like I could just stare at her because she's just she's really entertaining in a really and she's just she's an amazing woman I love her I could go on about her for days and yes yeah, so her session was with Carrie Santana da Silva but I didn't recognize the name but her um, blog and Instagram is wish 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 which I do know um, so b between the two of them um, they talked about um, how you can improve your um, Instagram stories and ways of um, thinking about filming them and that they came from two very different angles so um laura jane did uh, she talked about the more like rough and ready i wouldn't say hers are like rough and ready but um i, I can see why she was saying that because she was uh, presenting with wish 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 and um she's all about the super like just beautifully made like gorgeous to look at photos but her stories as well so um 
but yeah, Laura Jane was just so, she's so funny on hers, and she's, she's, and also not just funny, she's really, um, I think she gets quite engaged with quite political issues as well, which a lot of her points um, I really agree with, and I think she's an incredible woman. And um, yeah, so between the two of them, it, it was it was just really um, engaging session, and people were just into it. No one was really disconnecting from any of it. We were just really engaged and listening close. And so many good tips. I asked a question at the end about um, if they had any top tips for filming Instagram stories when you're. Um, out in public so that's one of my things that I sometimes go to do but I'm terrified like if I'm going to film something I'm like oh there's like people all around me or I'll wait until these people move or though that person walks down the road a bit and then I'll film that because that's really embarrassing and um, so yeah they, I mean they had some great tips for everything so that, that, that was really I came out feeling really positive and that I could really enjoy it myself so that was fantastic and then the session after that was by Anthony Burrell and he's a graphic artist but his work is really um, I mean firstly his his printing work is um, a lot of typography so um, and the messages he puts in his work are um, <clears throat> I wouldn't say political but they're punchy they're I think he described his um, work as having a humanist edge and I definitely agree with that um, so he, one of his really really well known pieces says um, work hard and be nice to people which I love um, but yeah his stuff was just amazing and he had he put some videos up on the screen I mean these videos were beautifully made videos that showed his craft and how the printmaking process and the thought process that's gone go, goes into all of his work. I am a girl that is obsessed with, always have been obsessed with things like font. So his work, I was just so interested and engaged with his process, and he's just such a cool dude as well. Um, he just gives off those really cool. I'm an artist kind of vibes as well. He showed clips of his studio that he works in and I was just like in love with every step of everything that he was talking about and um, yeah, loved his work. So I was so, I felt so privileged to have seen that and heard him speak about his process as well. So yeah, he was just incredible and it was just such a nice end to the day and um, yeah, so it was all amazing. Oh, I forgot to say, um, one of my morning sessions. Um, I thought I, I skipped to lunch really quick. <laughs> yeah, I went to a Finding Your Photo Style session with Dominique Davis, and her blog is All That Is She, um, and she has like a stunning uh, Instagram, and it was just, it, I felt like I was talking to a master and I'm so like down there and she's like up here um, so loads of it I was like oh, I'm not really sure if this is like too deep for me um, but then I think you can always learn more and I think it's great to know her process and how her sort of journey that she's been on and her lessons that she's learnt um, because I think you can always learn more even if you think oh, that might not apply to me it might do in the future and um, so yeah it, it was really amazing and, and incredible to sort of to see um, just hear all about like how she um, styles some of her shoots and, and like how actually they're so polished but behind the scenes you know she's used flipping pasta from the kitchen for some of them. She'll point out where she's used socks in some of the pictures and it's amazing what you can do with um, bits and pieces from around the house. So, you know, these people are all so creative and um, sometimes you think that there's been so much 
expensive equipment or um, someone that's, um, I don't know, been to college and studied photography but it's not always the case it is it's much more rough and ready behind the scenes than you'd ever imagine and um, so that was really cool to hear all about that as well um yeah so it was a really um incredible lineup across the day so i really really enjoyed it all at the end um cat molesworth uh, is the organizer of blogtacular so she actually she did a little a little bit right at the start and she did like a closing um, talk right at the end, um, just a really quick one. And at the end of all of that, we all bowled outside and there was like this massive, massive, massive group photo. I was right at the back, so I highly doubt I'm in it. Um, I was at the back just chatting away to people, but um, yeah, I'm not very tall either, so I'm pretty sure I won't be in that. Uh, so yeah. Moving on to the goodie bag. Um, so, they have like a competition every year for Blogtacular um, for who designs their goodie bags. So, this one is designed by Jacqueline Colley and it's so pretty. So, it's just like a fabric tote bag, but see if my camera focuses on that so you can see all the illustration it's all in pinks it's so cool I always keep my blogtacular bags always, I've only been to one before but I keep it and use it at all sorts of things um, so firstly um, this uh, was the notepad for the day and this was designed by Molu Designs um, Apparently they were like the runner-up for the goodie bag design, so they did the notepads, and I love that. Yeah, I think that's really cool. So yeah, I was scrolling my notes throughout the day um, in there, so that was really cool. And from the fabric fox is a little, uh, like little pack of mini squares of fabric, and she's given some little ideas of little projects you can use their little fabrics for so that was really cool and they had a little stall on the day as well and they had all their really they've got really like funky fabrics and um, so yeah some like leaflets of things there and oh, also this is in my goodie bag but these weren't in the goodie bag, um, I just put them in there to keep them safe. Um, but I met up with Emma from M Makes and Bakes, and she does um, a bit of sewing blogging, but she also does some illustration work as well. And she sells her prints, and she gave me these. How sweet is that? So she does one called Plant Killer, which I should have had, but I'm still in denial. So <laughs> I chose Plant Lover and dream big she does some really awesome prints i definitely recommend um checking out her uh shop online um so yeah that was that and oh uh, yeah we had a pattern from crafty so and so for some pj bottoms or pj shorts rather and uh, so that was really awesome to get that so that's like a really cool gift to get in the goodie bag um, so yeah, I was chatting to Freya uh, on the day. So um, and she runs, she helps run Crafty So and So. Um, so yeah, it was really nice. That was really cool. So I saw her at the end. I was like, you've got a pattern in the goodie bag. I was like yeah. <laughs> so that was really cool. And what else? Da, 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 da. Oh yeah, a drink of cool cold brew. <laughs> I'll try that. Might give me a little pick me up to do, I don't know, some sewing or something maybe. And there's some really cool cards in here, like greeting cards. This one I love. You should get a cat. Wholeheartedly agree with the uh, with that. <laughs> so that was that one. Oh, this one's really cool as well. Um, but this is like from Bookishly um, and it says, I'll show you, 
<laughs> I need to read it though, I can't remember what it says. Um, it says, Verily he did liketh it, and thenceforth he put a ring on it. I love that. Uh, so that's really cool. So that's um, those. And this, oh there's a couple of like different um, like postcardy type things. And then the last thing, which is like the big thing that was in the goodie bag, is this was this really cool box. And inside it has so a couple of like well this little like postcard sized print which is really cool. I feel like I might put that up in the sewing room. I love that. And some socks, which I love. So look, they look really cool. And then when you open them out, they've got a, a sloth on the heel. <laughs> They're so cool. I love them. And they feel really soft and stretchy as well. Um, yes, yeah, so that was my goodie bag. Um, I did also buy, um, so one of the sellers, oh, it's got a bit grubby, London. Um, one of the sellers had, um, so one of the sellers there called Yuck Fun. Um, they do some really cool like illustrated various different things like lots of clothing with their illustrations on. So I bought a tote bag because I really needed a bag at the start. I had like, I was trying to eat and drink and I had so much stuff like camera, um, notepad, pen, all this stuff. I was like, oh, I need a bag. And I only had my like, little tiny bag with me. So I bought this, but I'm in love with it. Look, it's so cool. Yeah, it's just a tote bag, but yeah, it's really bright and jazzy. I love it. And I don't know if you can tell the colour on the camera, but the cat's in like a really neon pink. I love that. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I kept staring at it all day and I was like, I love it so much. Um, yeah, so there was that. And I did make a couple of purchases when I was there as well. Um, I bought some backdrops. I don't know if you'd be interested in seeing these, but um, you can buy these like vinyl backdrops. So they're really good for if you want to do any like flat lay photography. Um, so uh, the company that was there was called uh, Capture by Lucy and they were so lovely and they have some really cool ones so I'll show you the two that I bought two um, two very different styles um, but they're, yeah there's this backdrop which is like a wood floor um, painted yellow so if you follow me on Instagram I'm definitely going to be using that <laughs> um, and then this one which is much like really different um which has got like a blue watercolor effect on it so i'll show you there um they're quite big yeah so they're just brilliant for like flat lay photography so if i'm photographing any clothes and bits that i make then i'll definitely be using them um so yeah that was my day and um it was it was all so cool. I had such a good time. I did go on the Friday because I was going to go on the photo walk. Um, but when I was there, I'd got really poorly. I think I'd overheated because it was really hot in London. And I got a really big headache, felt really sick. Literally got on the train to go because um, I was going to the Peckham uh, photo walk. And I had to get off because I thought I was just going to be sick on someone. <laughs> So yeah, I jumped off the train and I like headed back to my uh, hotel room and I just went to sleep for hours and I felt a lot better after that but it was, I had some paracetamol, a sleep, loads of water and yeah, I gradually felt a bit better and um, I was staying in the same hotel as Sarah from Like So Amazing so we met up and we did like our own miniature photo walk um, on the Friday evening and I, I mean I was still feeling kind of poorly but she was so sweet and she was she just said look Jen you didn't get to go on the photo walk because you're poorly so stand there we're doing one now so and because we were staying on Brick Lane there was some really cool um different like street art things to stand in front of so we did that 
and then we really randomly um, went and played crazy golf, uh, which was awesome. And uh, after that, we went and had a curry on Brick Lane. So it was just a really awesome weekend. It was my first ever night away from Otis. So that was the Friday night. And um, before I left Friday morning, I was in tears and really emotional. Um, but he was absolutely fine. He got on brilliantly with his dad. They had a great time. They went to the pub, obviously. So, yeah, it was all in all just a really, I'm still like buzzing off of the excitement and sort of inspiration from, from the whole weekend. So that's why I thought I'd film this video straight away. And yeah, I'm, yeah, just loved the whole thing. Thank you to the team and Kat that organised everything. It was just amazing. So thank you so much. Um, so yeah, I hope you've liked hearing about Blogtacular, yeah, a little bit of a different vlog because I'm normally talking about sewing and stuff. So I hope that's been of interest, but it's it's what I've been up to anyway. So um, I will be back really, really soon because I have got some makes to show you. I've been buying fabric and I've got some baby clothes coming up. So that should be interesting. Um, so I'll be back on the vlog really, really, really soon. So um, if you don't already, please feel free to subscribe and I'll be back soon. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Bye.